let's check it out sound is good and we should be coming in live hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today today is september 20th 2022 and we're back in the kitchen doing a cooking live stream it's been a while it's been a while it's been a while it's been a while and today what's on the agenda we went blackberry picking so we're gonna make uh some blackberry jam okay we're also gonna make uh uh some liqueurs uh just because we've uh we've picked some fruit we're gonna make some blackberry liqueur we're gonna make some grape liqueur and we're gonna make some plum liqueur and um, the grapes we picked from the patio and the blackberries and the plums we picked on uh, on a couple of outings uh, three outings actually we went to the plums we got on one outing but blackberries uh, we went up we went up picking three times and it's hands down the best blackberry season uh, ever I don't remember a blackberry season uh, this good and that's Salio right here hi Sal how you doing you got food. You can eat the food. Yeah, you have food. You can eat the food. I'm not gonna touch you because I gotta do some cleaning. I gotta do some cooking. Okay. He might do a little meow. If he does a little meow, we gotta give him a little bit of food. Adin, yo, Chicho, long time no see. It's me, Young Polax. How are you doing? Change my name. Awesome. Glad to have you back, brother. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing good. Should be a fun stream should definitely be a fun stream uh it's going to be a long stream we're going to be here for minimum minimum four hours three four hours uh we'll see how we hold out after four hours uh aside from that i'm going to do a little quick intro uh that's sweet chin music hello everybody hello hello i also talk to my cats i <laughs> know you have to talk to the cats <laughs> sign out for dinner what's up what's up hope you're doing well <laughs> Uh, but I don't think they understand me. Haha, <laughs> they understand food talk and petting, right? Zare, how's it going, Chicho? I got uh, <laughs> off work. You got what off work? <laughs> the day off work, I'm assuming that says I'm coming over with some edibles and <laughs> battleship. Awesome. <laughs> I can't spell. <laughs> that means I'll kick your ass in battleship, right? Gang, if you wonder what this work is about, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C H Y C H O. You can follow the work there. We also have a subscribe star page and a Substack page, and all the links are in the description of almost all of our videos. Uh, if um, for those of you that are supporting this work, gang, I, I hope you appreciate the content, I hope you're liking the content. Um, if you have any requests, uh, those of you supporting uh, this work on Patreon, send it my way, and I'll try my best to make sure we get it done. Uh, but from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for the support that we're getting on Patreon and on Twitch, gang. It's mainly because of the support we're getting on these two platforms that we're able to do what it is that we are doing, as well as some of the other direct support and uh, support we're getting some of the, uh, on some of the other platforms. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for the love gang uh, ben jerome oh wagon oh my god i love strawberry jam uh with my pancakes uh and what a young polex uh hidden hidden yeah me too strawberry jam uh sour cream cheese uh butter syrup pancakes pancakes can take almost anything right pancakes can take almost anything and uh mods thank you very much for being here and having our backs and taking care of business uh on here and on our gilded page gilded server that we have where you can join us if you want to share information and just participate in discussions and whatnot uh we do announce these live streams 30 minutes 45 minutes before we go live on get our minds we could get farther and big cloud sal took off and uh we'll see what other platforms we go on for live streams where we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to most of them anyway soundcloud.com forward slash chicho is a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify itunes and google play johnny slov slovkuk uh first time chat been watching your videos for years finally got twitch to watch you awesome welcome welcome to our live 
stream. Salute, salute. I'm just drinking tea right now, gang. Thank you for joining us on Twitch. That sweet chin pancakes are a sweet plate for my eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon. Delicious, delicious. J Pow, hello, hello, hey Chicho, and all. Good, good uh, morning from my end. Elder God, I'm still out uh, uh, about in town. We're running late. No worries, Elder God. We got it all taken care of. We got it all taken care of. Honk, honk. Thank you very much for the sub, base man. How are you doing? They've subscribed for two months currently on a one month streak. Woo -hoo! Thanks, brother. <laughs> Welcome to another live stream. And this live stream is going to be loaded in its entirety i believe on sensor 2 Pichute, rumble and odyssey so if you want to watch all of our content you want to be on Pichute, rumble and odyssey if uh, you're okay with uh, big brother the technocrat censoring information and spoon feeding information then sensor 2 will work we don't load everything on there it's a censored platform uh, so it is what it is it is what it is uh, it's a sort of a sinking Titanic and new tech, Bitchute, Rumble, and Odyssey. That's where you really want to be. Slick Mick, how are you doing? Did you see that YouTube are now doing three five second ads before and after every video? Crazy, excited for cooking. Yeah, it's, it is what it is. It's, it's a clown show over there. But oh well, good thing we got new tech kicking in right good thing we got new tech kicking in gang let's set everything up uh, we got let me show you the angles here okay angles as before we got we're gonna be cooking blackberries on here okay so I'm gonna fill these in right now and put in the blackberries because we need it uh, to start curling cooking and while this stuff is cooking um what we're going to do is um we're going to add the sugar we're going to add the lemon and let it curl 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 simmer simmer right one how are you doing one lee ways one lee ways uh, be back soon awesome okay elder god awesome so we're gonna put the blackberries on here okay. we're gonna make two pots i i don't think we're gonna make three or four we got a lot of blackberries for it most likely a four-hour stream ronnie most likely for our stream johnny slowak uh forget the final countdown it's the chicho and <laughs> slick me also i walked around my local city today and it was plastered with journalism is not a crime free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity something that we me and you desperately need in our societies for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or posters when you're walking around in your city saying journalism is not a crime free julian assange um slick mick felt proud that people in my city know what's happening indeed indeed base man let's go gang let me show you the blackberries We picked a lot. We picked, here, let me show you. We picked, how many buckets of these? Um, four, ten. We picked around 13 buckets like this. We've already eaten a whole bunch. Okay, we've frozen like three, uh, three and a half or four uh, freezer bags like this, right? And we got a couple of these buckets in the fridge and we've got i'm going to show you what, what i pulled out to cook up all right so uh healthy going out uh doing fruit picking uh you save money because i don't know how much this would cost in the stores like i don't buy blackberries in the stores um it costs a fair bit i'm assuming and uh it's pesticide free take a look all right Here's some of it. Okay. Fantastic blackberries this season. This was the best blackberry season ever. Okay. Ever. 
fantastic. Like, <laughs> my hands are gonna, hold on, I'm gonna do this. Like, look at the size of those things, right? Juicy. So good. I've been eating like a bear. Blackberries. So, I'm gonna pour this one here. Nice. Let's put that there. Apologies if I'm not gonna catch the chat, a lot of the chat gang, because I wanna get this stuff going. Um, Chicho, if I uh, Vimeo you, you can send me <laughs> jar of jam. <laughs> awesome. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna auction off some of the jam later on this year towards the end of the year okay we've got little jars that we're gonna do uh we need to free assange sweet uh sweet chen says so he can stop by chicho's house to grab some snacks awesome would be proud man would be proud uh johnny assange x chicho asmr collab when oh what what an amazing day that would be uh yeah the these things are amazing man johnny you're making me hungry throw some of some of the screen <laughs> right so we can put more in this okay we can put more in this and there's going to be little little bits of things in here but we're going to use the mill um to get rid of the seeds so that stuff will um, stick out right well here's another bucket let's throw this in here too okay and take a look at this thing I put some of the red ones in there as well because these things were really nicely ripe or sweet but you need some of the red ones and green ones because they have more pectin and it makes it more better jelly uh, content okay okay let's put this here too nice Here's another bucket. <laughs> Let's pour this one in here. cook this up it falls down a little bit right um oh yeah i got those ones too so let me dump this here okay and check this up i picked some more cheryl how are you doing some more of the red there's right ones here too red and green just to pour it in here and make sure we've got enough pectin going on here okay that's good and you know what this this bucket I'm gonna keep will probably end up just freezing this one so we're keeping three of these buckets in the in the freezer uh, in the fridge and we got four bags in the freezer so we're gonna eat a whole bunch of this uh, poop like a bear <laughs> for for a couple of weeks or a few days and then freeze whatever we're not eating okay it's great and we've already eaten like i don't know like four buckets like this easy easy so what i want to do i'm gonna turn up the heat on this okay let's kick it up i'm putting these things on four right now okay as far as sugar goes I'm gonna use organic cane sugar. Okay. I'm gonna put. Uh, this is our cup measurement. Okay. Uh, Johnny, I feel like you'd sit on the floor like a bear and just just dump the bucket over your face and just absolutely destroy those berries. <laughs> Fun. I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put two cups in this. Okay, I don't make them too too sweet, but the um, 
like if you look at jam recipes they go one for one which i never do like that's crazy sugar right so two cups in this one i want to put two and a half cups in this one okay and if we need it to be sweeter later i can kick it up a notch taste it okay. let's do two and a half cups in this one And where is our lid? I want to close it up nicely. Okay. Now, we got to put some lemon on this as well. Okay, so what I want to do, we're going to juice some lemons. We're going to put the, depending on how juicy these lemons are, let's check it out. Pretty juicy. I'm going to put, mm, let's see, I'll let you guys know how many. I'm going to put probably one and a half uh, lemon juice, uh, juices of one and a half lemons in each one, okay? Because lemon is fantastic. And you want to make sure you don't get the seeds in there, right? These are nice juicy lemons. Just use a little mesh sieve or whatever you call it. Gives it a nice tangy flavor. Yeah, they're bitter. Lemon seeds are bitter. So sweet chin saying, I've never had lemon seeds. Lemon seeds are they, they are bitter for sure. For sure. You can hear the blackberries a little bit cooking up. Right? I'm gonna add a little bit of a little bit of water so the bottom doesn't burn. Okay. I'm going to pour this on top. Now we're just going to add a little bit of water. Not too much because the blackberries are going to give their own water as well, right? That's good enough. I'm going to pour a little water on this too so it doesn't burn while we do the lemon. This guy, we don't want to waste, so let's put the lemon pulp in here. We can mix it in. And you don't have to add the lemon at the beginning. Uh, I talked to my mom this morning, actually, and she says she doesn't add it at the beginning. She adds it later. Uh, I'm adding it at the beginning. Make it simple. Adramas, greetings. How are you doing? Void. I won't type. But I'm here. Okay, Void. Enjoy.
Lonely Piggy, how are you doing? Hello, old man. I've missed the start of the cooking stream. Damn, we just started. Hasn't been that long. Ronnie, you said you're originally from Iran. What do you think about women in Iran protesting for more rights and taking their head off? Well, that's fantastic. I think everyone should have the right to do live their life any which way they want. Uh, they should be careful, though. Uh, okay. Uh, certain regimes, may they be in Canada, where they freeze your bank account for donating money to a peaceful protest, or may they be in Iran, where you don't have certain rights, which is the same thing in Canada to a certain degree. Certain people in Canada do not have certain rights, right? Uh, like I'm a second-class citizen here. Uh, when you're protesting totalitarian regimes, uh, you also have to be careful. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit more to this. Understand the limitations and understand that um, the society really has to back you. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. <laughs> One. Uh, what we can do now is just put the lid back on these guys. Okay. I got this guy sitting at four. I got this guy sitting at three and a half. It burns hotter, so like a turbo thing. I'm going to kick this up to about five. I want to hear it kirkling. I want to get it going right away. Okay. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Lonely pig, good. Love me some cooking streams. Awesome, awesome. Ch -ch -ch. Chicho for president, man, has said nothing but facts since I first started watching him. Uh, Johnny says, uh, must have been about seven years ago now. Maybe I forgot. Seven years. That's a long time to be here, brother. Salute, salute. Salute, salute. Mustafa, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, one, welcome to our live streams. Gang, um, what I need to do... I need to clear up the sink a little bit. I've got a little pile up here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to rinse these guys. Excuse me, Dallas. Let me do this. Let me put this guy over. And we've got the mail here too. So... Over here. Okay. Let's on my apron if I'm doing this right da, 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 da. Matthew Chicho are there any foods ingredients you refuse to eat whether that be for dietary or ethical reasons um, um, Refuse to eat any foods are like I don't eat junk, uh, like fast uh, junk food. Like I don't go to McDonald's or Kentucky Fried Chicken and stuff. I refuse to eat that crap. That stuff is poison. It's not really food. Um, ba -ba 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 -da 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 -da. Um, I'm staying away from legumes a little bit right now and peppers right now, just because I used to consume a lot, so my body went took it easy. Uh, but I go through phases. I add things. I take things off. All right.
got to keep the got to keep the sink clear right you can't have a pile up you can't have a pile up uh, Felix how did you show how's life it was my birthday yesterday happy birthday and I spent the day recording a song I made with some equipment I got awesome Felix awesome I'm gonna give these a little spin so the blackberry is not nothing's burning at the bottom just making sure right you can see the steam coming up already nothing sticking so that's good The switch and sadly I'm more afraid of the neighbors being a uh, tattletale when I come for uh, come to protest yeah 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 ghost face late but here how's everyone doing ghost face are you doing throw some crickets flower <laughs> ponds and killers says hilarious that's one mega batch of blackberries awesome awesome okay gang we're gonna let this curl call we're gonna make some liqueurs okay uh, let's do this here. Let's put this here. Let you guys see it as well. I want to move this guy here. So we've got room. So you guys will see. Okay. Now, let's make some uh, grape liqueur. Now, here's our grape liqueur from 2020. Okay. I think we made this together. So grape, August 2020. 10 out of 10 i give it a rating fantastic here's what the grapes like they turn this color right after two years right fantastic this was so delicious and still delicious right i should probably top this up as well i got some three bottles of vodka 26ers going on here so what we're going to do is make the grape liqueur the new batch we're going to make a bigger batch okay because this was an experiment this is the first time i was making grape liqueur and so good so good so good and these are the grapes that we harvested from our patio right so let's make it in uh, let's make it in this is that going to be too big <laughs> i got really big big jars going on here right <laughs> gotta get the big jars or the liqueur uh, hilarious the sweet chain you're gonna do uh, no 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 milk of bugs <laughs> thanks <laughs> that might be one where i have uh ethical qual yeah i don't you know if if the w the wef wef wants you to eat something uh, i'm gonna think twice about it right so take a look at this thing here. here's our grapes i already uh Pull them off the stems and I gave them a wash. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour this in here. Let's see how much it takes. Okay. Nice. Good, 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 good. That's awesome. And then we'll wash this bag later, of course, right? So let's put this here. We'll take this guy too. Let's put this guy here for now. So grapes from our patio, right? I'm going to add one cup of sugar on this. Okay. First time chat, Nicholas Vivaldi. Hey, it's my first time watching you live. How's it going? Pretty good. Pretty good. Welcome to our live stream. Salut, salut. With tea today. Ponzikela, you got to try that. You <laughs> got bread and deep fried and green flour and cockroach oil. <laughs> Insanity. Insanity, right? Insanity. Uh, where we got? Okay, I'm going to open this up here. Wait. 
I'm just gonna add one cup of sugar, okay? Not much. Okay, just one cup of sugar. Because the grapes are really sweet. Let's put this here for now. This guy, we don't need no more. Let's put that there. And let's bring our vodka. That's curcuming, that's good. This one curcuming too. Let's bring a bottle out. And again, I'm sticking with absolute. Okay. Uh, and check this out, I went to the liquor store to pick up these bottles and uh, there's actually a limit they had on at the liquor store you weren't allowed to buy you could buy as much beer as you wanted but any item may they be spirits or or wine you're only allowed to buy three so rationing in a liquor store in Canada Wow, right? Ghost phase 420, sweet chin. Beginner question, how long are you able to freeze fruit before you use it? Oh, forever, as far as I know. I've never had fruit go bad in the freezer. Uh, we consume it beforehand, right? Uh, absolute uh, Lonely Pig, Absolute is a good bang for your buck vodka. It is, it is. In, alcohol in Canada is expensive, extremely expensive. Right. And you just pour it on top. Nice. And a bottle, a little bit left, right? A little bit left. Fills up the grapes to the top. And the grapes will sink. So we'll have vodka on top, right? Cave Med Fika Chicho. Nice kitchen. Very cozy. Thank you. Now, what you want to do is, I'm just going to close this up, seal it, okay, and give it a shake. Now, I might decide to add more sugar later, okay. Make sure the jar seals, all right? Okay. And this, you can just leave in, in the sunlight for a couple of days, right? And then you can just put it on the shelf. Uh, it doesn't need to be in the sunlight the whole time, right? Leave it in the sunlight for a couple of days, a day, two days, maybe three, four days. That way it'll heat up, it'll dissolve the sugar at the bottom. And then every day, you know, go and give it a little shake okay if you got a warm house you can just leave it and it should dissolve okay and once all the sugar in the bottom is gone that's totally uh diluted in there right and let it sit this probably let it sit for about four weeks before tasting it and see how it tastes strawberry is the quickest that the flavor gets in in about three weeks even two weeks sometimes depending on the, the strawberries right two to four weeks the strawberry tastes good but the longer it stays the better it tastes okay so this one i'm probably not going to taste at maybe month month and a half okay maybe i'll give it a uh, taste in a month okay lonely piggy i can't drink vodka anymore though the smell alone makes me woozy Ooh. uh the liqueurs don't really smell like vodka they don't even taste like vodka the good one uh, those like strawberry and stuff uh, spencer man how are you doing doing good man thank you very much may rice for you okay uh ponzi killer i'm microwaving my homemade rice to you cooking awesome sweet chin hope you have good rice I'm gonna make this adult grape drink. Adult <laughs> grape drink looks good. It, it is good. Uh, yo, if you guys are in the uh, USA, don't get the sauerkraut at the, at Hanford. There. <laughs> what? I'm gonna put this here. Okay. Now. Oh, we're gonna make blackberry liqueur too. 
Uh, but before we make broccoli liqueur, let's make some plum liqueur as well. We're gonna make some plum liqueur. Okay, here is... Here's plum liqueur we made in 2019. Okay, added sugar August. No, added sugar August 2019. This is actually plums made like 10 years ago, maybe. Take a look. These are big plums, right? They're super good. Okay. I'm gonna bring one out and eat it. Like maybe eight years ago. Okay, they're strong. Bring up a little. Yeah, sure. We'll put it in this. And the uh, plums really catch the alcohol flavor when you make liqueur. The fruits really um, absorb the alcohol flavor. The liquid is doesn't taste like alcohol at all, usually. It just falls apart in your mouth. But it's got a strong alcohol flavor. I haven't made a fruit liqueur yet where the alcohol flavor doesn't just get sucked into the liqueur. I get sucked into the fruit. Okay. So what we end up doing usually Richard Ruger, thank you very much for the follow, Hong Kong. So usually what we do is um, we pour the liqueur, the liquid, and when you drink that, it's like it's like sweet candy, right? And you can have a little fruit on the side and just nibble on it and get the alcohol flavor, okay? Cheryl, I made a pint of plum with crystallized ginger. Oh, nice. Should be ready in a few weeks. Oh, that would be very good sweet gin yeah plums are amazing calf med what does a bottle of absolute vodka cost in bottle of absolute vodka costs around 30 though 26 dollars with taxes comes up to around 30 dollars is it 26 yeah around 30 dollars in canada crazy prices <laughs> crazy prices take a look this is cooking down now you can see the foam coming up see that when the foam is coming foam is coming up you got to really watch this because all of a sudden it might just go right so you want to get it going because you want this to break down okay and you're giving it a mix because you don't want the bottom to stick so i'm taking the spoon and i'm scraping the bottom with it Let's make sure this one's doing okay too. What's your favorite liqueur you've made so far then uh, i love the strawberry i love lemon i love the plum um it's not what's it's not really what's my favorite liqueur it's what i didn't like very much i didn't like cucumber cucumber wasn't very good <laughs> actually at some point it became okay it became not bad it was sort of refreshing but it, it wasn't the best i won't be making any more cucumber the same uh, it's the same price in Sweden okay okay because Swedish vodka is really good right Nicholas Ovaldi have you ever tried mead uh, yeah I think so yeah 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 for sure honey uh, uh, I've been trying to find some of late I see people making their own uh, might give a shot yeah mead the uh, wine honey no it's really good DS Rokular, 
damn chicho rocking three angles on a live stream nice production value speedy gonzalez production speedy gonzalez production <laughs> sweets going on huh? cucumber <laughs> Fonsicola, i added toasted sesame oil to my rice nice delicious delicious add some mint dried mints if you have it it's super good cheryl did you make the cucumber with vodka or gin i made them with vodka and one of them i made no sugar and one of them made with sugar and the one with sugar didn't like it at all the one without the sugar um it was better it was better it had to sit for a long time it had to sit for a long time Atramadas, imagine harvesting honey from bees that live on a cabin uh, cannabis oh cannabis honey bees oh that would be so good Ponzicola, fresh mountain mint nice throw it in nets in four uh good morning chicho been loving the frequent streams lately yeah me too me too getting back in the groove again getting back in the groove again let's do plums mm, how much plums do we have yeah this should fill it up so one more jar i'm just checking this making sure the foam doesn't go get up too high for it to all the sun go gotta watch it gotta watch it So check this out. Got this demos out here. Check it out. These are plums that I harvested. Uh, when we were picking blackberries, um, we saw a plum tree. So I went for it, right? When I'm when I'm I like foraging. If I see a fruit tree, I go for it. Do a bee line, right? So and it's this should make really good, really good uh, liqueur it's tart so and you want to take off the stems on them right like little stems i harvested in a way where i didn't get too many stems but they can stay on as well no big deal sweet chin mint is great to keep the mosquitoes uh and ticks away does it i didn't realize that cheryl i was just thinking cucumber might be decadent with a nice herbal gin maybe maybe i might try it good idea about no sugar though yeah no sugar i didn't really like it with the sugar it was so off it was really off uh, it wasn't refreshing at all which is what um what you want cucumber to be so if it if it's really good with gin, let us know, Cheryl. Maybe I'll try it with gin. Nice. Does it look beautiful, eh? Let it settle. The only piggy. I remember one of the better cooking ones color wise was the pomegranate liqueur is amazing amazing uh pomegranate liqueur you made man that color was insane yeah pomegranate is amazing well we got some plums left let me see if i can shake this and free up a little bit more space i don't think so though Panzikelli says, oh wow, mint goes good with the rice. Yeah, 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 mint and rice is amazing. Okay, we can't get any more in, so we got a little bit left over. Oop, a little bit left over. Okay, I'm gonna pour this, these guys in here. Okay, let's throw this here for now. I'm gonna give these guys another swirl with a spoon, okay? Just to make sure the bottom's not sticking. Nice, not sticking at all. It's very liquid. The juices have come out. Just want to give it a nice mix. Oh, this one's nicely curcly. Mm -hmm. Let's close 
that off. Let's add the sugar for this. Again, I'm just gonna go one cup of sugar, okay? And let's bring the vodka over. Let's use up what we've got left from here. Pomegranates are like a, are like a five tool baseball player. Good for every, good for everything. Again, looks like with the fruit, oh no, because we already used up a little bit. So this one took up more vodka because there's more spaces between the plums. Uh, the grapes, less spaces, right? Chicho's uh, pomegranate salad dressing is killer too. Yeah, yeah, super delicious, super delicious. I'm glad you like Lonely Piggy. Nice, nice memory. Beautiful color. Look at that. Just beautiful. Right? Just beautiful. Take a look. So we got grapes. Yeah. Grapes and plums right now. These are heavy. Right? Super cool. Right? Amazing together. <laughs> right? Vodka leakage from shaking that. Cool. Look at this. This is curling. So just give it a shake or a swirl. The foam on it is amazing. This one too. Open that up so it breathes a little bit. Uh, blackberry, blackberry, blackberry. Baseman Chicho, are you a f are you a fan of beets for sure? I made a very quick and easy salad with uh, arugula, beets, and goat cheese. Nice beets and goat cheese go amazing together. Some simple and great, and balsamic vinegar and some dressing. Yeah, fantastic. You can do beets, apples, and. Uh, uh, cabbage beets apples and cabbage or just beets and apples is really good first time chat raid 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 first time chat lots of first right first time chat hype welcome to our live stream um, bleak attack and monkey geek and dino dinosaur 1331 welcome raiders welcome raiders salute salute Raiders, Raiders. Let's make the Blackberry. Master Chef. <laughs> Let's make the Blackberry. You know what? Let's stay consistent. We'll put the Blackberry in this as well. So I'm gonna bring out the jar that we put in the fridge. Or the bucket. So this is our Blackberry. So we're gonna put this in there. Okay, this one I'm going to have to use a spoon. Good. Good. I'm going to leave the lid open for this a little bit. Same with this. Because I don't want it to go boiling over while we're busy making this stuff. 
Beautiful house. Thank you. What's up? Diet Coke for life. Diet Coke for life. Don't eat that stuff. Or don't drink that stuff. That stuff will kill you. You can hear the crackling, right? A little bit of leaf. Okay, these guys are crackling nicely. Let me do a little shake on this. This is blackberry jam we're going to be making. Two pots of blackberry jam. Very liquidy. Very liquidy. Let's close it up. Or leave a little bit of gap there. Put uh, little handlers, these guys on here because it's getting hot. Okay. How long do I let the plums sit? The plums, again, I'm gonna let sit at least a month, month and a half. The longer, the better for the plums. Okay. Ray, Rachel, sorry for the late message. Hope you're having a beautiful. You too as well, Ray. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ray. Raid, 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 and first time chat. Sorry if I missed some of the first time chat and raid game. Uh, with the cooking is sort of time sensitive. <sighs> Seeing such delicious food made me hungry. Yum, and the smell. My god, so good. Have a beautiful day today, and always, always, always. Thank you. You're amazing. Monkey says to Ray basement what does raid mean should i be concerned no this it just means they're coming in from uh another live stream which is sort of cool look at the size of these blackberries i mean look at this look at the size of these right? fantastic mm. so juicy mm. lost a little What I'm gonna do is I wanna throw these in here too. There. That way. We done those. We lost a blackberry. We can eat it. Here it eh? Nice. That's the sound you want without it going. I'm gonna add one cup of sugar to this as well. Yeah. 
spring or vodka. Yeah, I love the sound of it, the crackling. And slowly the blackberries will sink in the sugar will sink in and then we'll give it a shake again again putting these later on I'm gonna put them on the windowsill for a couple of days in the Sun let it heat up let it uh, the, uh, what do you call it uh, sort of not melt the sugar but dissolve the sugar right smells pretty good. It's like blackberries. <laughs> Let me give this a little wipe. Village here, so I'm just gonna give this a wipe. Okay. Now let's bring these guys over. And give these a little twist. Whirl. Chicho, do you think crypto once again? hit all-time high eventually mm, hard to say man hard to say it really depends uh, it really depends it really depends uh, how dark we go So this is really liquidy. We need to reduce this. Okay. We need to reduce this. So it's gonna cook. So I'm gonna keep the lid off of this for a bit. Okay. I cut myself some watermelon to eat as well. Let's check out this one. Like they were amazing blackberries, but wow, really juicy, really juicy. Hard to say, Ronnie, within the next three years, crypto might go down to zero. Okay. George from Peru. Hi, Chicho. I was watching some of your math videos on YouTube. Awesome. I hope they helped. No. 
Now this guy's curdling a lot. So what I'm gonna do is to reduce the splatter. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put this on top of it. Little screen. Okay. I'm gonna put this on top of it so because this one's curdling more so it doesn't just go all over the place. Okay. This one's not bad, so we're gonna leave it. Um let me get caught up with the chat. If it goes down to zero, that's be very interesting. Very sad too. It means centralized power destroyed it, right? Watermelon and lime, amazing. Watermelon and cheese, I love really like. I added a very little. Like, I added, like, quarter of a cup not even right just to make sure the bottom doesn't stick right i mean that's perfect amount uh, of sweet to sour yeah indeed watermelon and lime lemon lemon or lime the sweet chin i don't want to generalize but i'm uh, talking with the more more normie types in my life crypto has taken a huge hit lots of terrible mainstream pr indeed 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 and crypto uh, might have been a sort of a trap just to get people used to digital currencies, right? Not crypto, but digital currencies, get them transferring over and then centralized digital currency is rolled out. And welcome to 1984, right? No dairy, you're one of dairy free. Uh, Adramas, yeah. Alligata too, there's a few people, no dairy. Uh, I no long, uh, no longer prefer it. Such better plant options, such as coconut and cashew. Ooh, cashew, delicious. First time chat. Shred. I get Chinese kung fu master vibes. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Salut. Welcome to our live stream. Fun. So, let me do this. Let me do this. So what we need to do, we need this to reduce, basically. Okay. Now, I want to start heating up the the jars slowly. Okay. Uh, but we don't need to do that yet. Um, we're gonna get the water boiling for. Uh, let me do this. Hold on. Let's do this. Oop. How's our live stream? Is it lagging or is it good? Are we doing good? It's probably not plus with guys like me. Uh, any don't you the mass? Produced dairy industry has been copper. Oh, indeed, indeed. Uh, we try to go local. Okay, hold on. I think. Let me do this. Farm batch is probably better. Yeah. Is there a lag? Shoot. Let's check it out. Are we lagging? Are we lagging? Hopefully not too much. Lag, lag, big lag. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, it looks like we're back now. Yeah. We're back. We're back. Are we back? From my end, we're back. back are we back better better let's check it out yeah from my end it looks okay tough no go touch maybe it's catching up it must be catching up we have non-static dream show <laughs> I'm, I'm good now. You're good? Okay. What's up, teacher? Long time follower. 
Jingle bells, how are you doing? Enjoying the ride. Haha, <laughs> nice. Because that's all it is. Wondering if you would ever consider a uh, watch along stream where we, you, choose a movie and watch along together. If so, my vote is for uh, Shallow Soccer. What a great movie. What a great movie. Hope all is well, brother. Indeed, indeed. Shallow Soccer is fantastic. I've seen it a couple of times, a long time ago, though. Uh, it's good now? It's good? Okay, good, 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 good. Let's check it out. Yeah, good for my end too. Okay, okay. Lag, no good. Let's do this. Okay, mix this up, mix this up. Yeah, we need this to cook down. Now, what we need, we need to do as well is I need to boil a pot of water because we're going to do a double pot system where, um, where is it? Where's my lids? Oh, they're in this. <laughs> so I put the lids in this, right? So I'm going to boil some water in another pot, pour the boiled water on top of this because all these are washed. We just want to, um, the, um, we just want to sterilize it, right? And then I'm going to put this in another pot that's already boiled water. So let's do this. Mm, you know what? I'm going to, I got tea going here. So I'm going to kick up the tea here. And what I'm going to do is, here's the other pot that we have. I'm going to boil water in this. this water okay. let's kick that up and we got the tea boiling as well so all we can really do now is sort of go on a holding pattern I'll show you the trays that we got set up so we got 150 mil trays here and what I end up doing is I got four trays of jars here I got 150 mil 250 mil and 500 mil jars okay and what we're gonna do, we're gonna heat up the, the jars to around, uh, put it at a temperature of like 350 or so, 375 and then kick it down to 350. When we're doing the jarring process, okay? So we're not gonna start it up right now. We're gonna wait until this reduces a little bit, curcles a little bit. I'm gonna kick this up a little bit, uh, the temperature on both of these. Uh, let it curcle harder. Chalon soccer looks great. And my uh, Emma have to give it a watch. Chalon soccer is amazing. Adromas is so funny, so funny. It's one of the best uh, soccer movies there is. A seriously good, good soccer movie. Let's do this. Put this here, put this here. Yeah, we're doing good with the stream. It's not lagging. That's good. It's a hilarious movie. It's a hilarious movie. Good. Kick it up. Kick it up. Nice. Okay. Look at the color on this now, right? Look at the color on that. Very nice. Water is boiling for the tea, so I'm gonna do stats and I'm gonna pour that on top of this. Let's make sure this is okay. I'm gonna move this guy. We need a little bit of space. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna move. Okay, let's do this. Let's move this guy away from here. And I'm gonna move this guy away from here. I'll be right back. Awesome. 
little bit of space. Let's move this guy here. Let's break this guy. And the water's boil, so all I'm going to do is... Whoop, careful so we don't burn ourselves. lids get submerged into the boiling water. Okay. Good. So let that sit like this. And we can pour a little bit of water in this. No, that's good enough. And if you're ever dealing with pots, be careful with steam, gang. If you're ever doing what I did, picking up a, a kettle and the lid is not on it and it's boiling, steaming, all you have to do is just blow on it a little bit and get the steam away from your knuckles so your knuckles don't burn. Be careful. Uh, do not. I do not recommend doing that all the time, okay? Uh, or if you're not used to it. Hidden gem classic, indeed. Shalom soccer. No goal is the best football movie, Elder God. I don't know that movie at all. Deep Flake, how are you doing? Shalom soccer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Super good movie. I don't know no goal at all. Boy, hockey, the only sport you're you're allowed to fight. <laughs> well, boxing too. Yeah, I, that's one reason I stopped watching. Or I never really got into hockey, but. I didn't like it. I don't like the fighting aspect of it. Hong Kong. Did we get a follow? Hong Kong. Deep Flake, yeah. I'm late to chat. So I'm not sure what you were saying, La Fala. Yours was the first uh, comment I saw. Okay. Very liquidy, very liquidy. Ideally, you don't want the blackberries to be so ripe when you're making jam, okay? It's okay for uh, liqueurs. It's amazing for, uh, what do you call it? Uh, for uh, shakes and stuff, but not good for that's why I picked uh, some black ones. Take a look. And when it's hot, it's more liquidy as well, right? But we need to continue to reduce this. We need to cook this hard. Elder God, goal is about a Mexican illegal immigrant making good a Newcastle. Uh, Newcastle. So he starts playing for Newcastle United? Very cool. Never heard of it. D D S Rakula Chicho, you ever going to uh, clean shave? I know you like the goatee. I was going to the summer at the beginning of the summer, but I got uh, I got hit with a little flu, and uh, I said I was going to do it, but uh, uh, got the steam taken out of me. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Maybe we go full beard. Maybe I do it in the fall. Maybe winter. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I've. I've taken facial hair off before. I look like a kid. <laughs> no respect. No respect. <laughs> Deeply. What was that film with uh, Eric Canton? Not seen it, but got to love Canton. Eric Canton. I can't. Eric Canton. Which one's Eric Canton? I can't remember who Eric Canton is. Eric Canton. Yeah, the stream's good. Okay, good, good, good. We're in a holding pattern. Fun. We can talk about whatever we want. We're talking about soccer. We're very nice, very nice. I am hungry though. I'm gonna eat a watermelon. 
Yeah, what are you guys snacking on? I got watermelon going. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I don't get. Haha. Uh -huh. oh, I don't get on respect. Kitty cats are cuddling. We got a little blockage going here. So I'm gonna clean up the sink. Okay, I'll be right back. thing I need to do is got to make some space gorgeous crunchy Asian pears crunchy Asian pear I got some Asian pears super delicious Elegal Chicho I will find gold and add to my Pichu awesome that'd be great <laughs> nice Pichu channel well we got I have leftover tabuli that my so so uh, Cheryl you're e eating Asian pear nice uh, Lonely Piggy, I have leftover tabbouleh um, that my best friend made for me. Snacking on that with some pita. Very nice, very nice. The sweet chin. Been a long time since I had an Asian pear. That, f uh, that flesh was so good. Like a light, buttery goodness. <laughs> nice. Deep flake. Any idea, thoughts regarding what Putin is about to announce? Uh, it looks like they're going to announce that they're going to... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, the the special military operation, the areas where they were. Oh, this is boiled. this water is boiled. Uh, that they were going to, that they wanted autonomy. Uh, looks like. So this water is boiled. So I'm going to do a double pot. I can't show it to you because I don't want to lift up a boiling pot. I want to put that in there. Make sure it's not going to blow. Roll over. Okay, perfect. That was the right amount. And we don't need this lid anymore. This is boiled, so actually, watch this. Uh, looks like they're gonna announce that those areas are gonna do uh, a referendum and they're gonna request to join the Russian state and Russia is going to accept them as part of Russian territory and then uh, we enter a new 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 phase because what that means is uh, now the war is no longer a special military operation but it's on uh, Russia's homeland territory now so I can't even imagine what that's going to be okay I'm kicking these down a little bit gang okay the reason we got the boiling there because the bottom was sticking a little bit so I had to make sure free it up No worries, Joe told him. Don't, don't, don't. Vlad is scared. Mm. 
think this is getting better. Look at this. Look at that. Very nice. Dark, dark, dark. Okay. And what we need to do, we need to mill this stuff as well. Okay. We're somewhere online. We could watch the speech live. Is he giving a speech right now? Oof, oof. Deep flakes. Geopolitics is on some no chill mode. Glad I'm watching someone make jam. Awesome. Ronnie, I love you. So, I'm going to make some space over there. Okay. Um, or should I make it over here? Actually, I'll make it over there. Da, 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 da. Let's bring these. Okay, we don't need the sugar anymore. So, let's put the sugar in the way. We got the mail here. We don't need these jars anymore. So, I'm going to put these jars away. Okay. I'll be right back. says I love driving up to Utah and picking their big fat white peaches <laughs> big fat white <laughs> funny Cheryl Green River area that's where you are Cheryl Deep Fay is that a cat house in the background or a cement mixer or both that that guy is a high tech cat pooper <laughs> they go in there they do their business it's got a little detector and it detects that a little kitty cat's been in there doing its business and um, in five minutes or something, it does a little rotation, spins around. It dumps the, their business into a bottom drawer. And like that's the steps going up and the bottom there, there's a little drawer. And then once every few days, uh, you, and it's in a plastic bag, you open it up, close the plastic bag, and throw in the garbage so it's a self-cleaning cat pooper <laughs> but you do have to pick up this get the stuff together and uh, get rid of it right finally home uh, randall how are you doing glad to catch some of the the stream at la at, la at least awesome awesome randall glad to have you we're doing good we made liqueurs let me show you the liqueurs check this out we made blackberry liqueur okay Beautiful color, eh? Look at this. <laughs> Amazing blackberry season. We made plum liqueur. Have to put it on the windowsill, let it melt. Uh, the sugar, not melt, uh, dissolve. Right? And grape liqueur. And all of these are fruits that we picked ourselves, right? Okay. Now, what do we got going on? What do we got going on? This, do we need all this? We don't need all this. We need this guy? No, we don't really need this guy. So let's put this guy over here. Do the cats lonely picky? Do the cats get scared of it at all? Is there any litter in to make it feel like, yeah, yeah, there's litter in there. There's litter in there. So the litter rotates and there's a little uh, sieve that collects the litter. It's just a system they've set up where it takes the chunks, dumps them, and catches the litter. Right? 
Randall, wow, those look amazing. Can't wait for the taste test. Yeah, me too. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So let me put this. Okay, I can get rid of these guys. Let's get rid of these guys. These guys. here for now. Now I gotta make some room. For the mill, we got three different levels, right? I'm gonna use the smallest one. I thought it was one more. No, this is the one. So to catch the blackberry uh, seeds, Right, we don't want the blackberry seeds to go in there, but I'm surprised there isn't a smaller one than this. I'm gonna kick up the temperature on this a little, and I'm gonna close the lid on it. Okay, that's the smallest one. foam to build up on this too so i'm kicking up the uh, temperature on this and on this okay i need to stream uh stream on poop rotation now <laughs> i thought about doing it i thought about doing it This is a jar of pickles we had from uh, last year. Uh, my partner made some pickles this year as well, which is fantastic. Up because once we start jarring it, I uh, want to make sure uh, no breeze is going to hit to crack the jars. Okay. So we cover them. And we're going to have more in that. Uh, but I'll make room as. Actually, I should make room right now. I'm going to make room right now. <laughs> Let's put this guy here. Here. Don't mind me, just doing some uh, uh, front end work, I guess, before we start drawing it. So, I hope, I hope you guys are having good snacks. Nice. I'm going to put the lid back on this guy too. Close it more. We need to put this guy somewhere because we might end up using it again. I should probably won't end up using this. I'm gonna put this in the dish uh, washing dishwasher for now. And if we need it, we'll pull it out. Before you do any type of work like this, where you're doing a lot of kitchen work make sure if you have a dishwasher it's clean so you can put dirty stuff in there right
I got this one as a turbo boil sitting at three, three and a bit. This one's sitting at four, that's curling like this. I got the lids open a little bit, okay. Uh, the, the standard jar boil protocol, standard jar boil protocol, standard jar boil protocol. Uh, I'm not sure what that means, all I got. What we're gonna do, oh, I'm kicking up the water for the lids on this. We do need to mill, so the milling part is a little messy. Okay. I'm gonna create a little bit more space here as well. Let's put our mill. put the lid on it you put the mill in there and you end up doing this and the goodies come out in the bottom right you can see it going right so I'm just gonna leave this for now like this because once we start using it we can just put it on the side I'm gonna make up a little bit more space here sanitize your jars and let's yeah yeah for sure but in the in the oven right uh no water so i've washed them all we bought some new ones washed them did a couple loads of uh, wa uh dishwasher and i've got them in here and i'm gonna turn on the the oven to 350 down a little let's turn it down check this out so that burns right so be careful the bottom was sticking a little bit so I'm gonna remove this I turned it down and I get to give it a it was clumped up so it's not stuck stuff good stuff Let's see this one use the lid as a shield beautiful color on this beautiful color look at that I do need to taste it. So one thing we do, if you wanna know the, know the consistency of this thing, I'm gonna do this. 
I'm going to reduce the water in this guy a little bit. Make sure that's not hot. Ooh, that is hot. So that's okay. That's good. Leave it at that. Um, take a little bit of the liquid, put it in a little container, put it in the freezer. a little bit and just put it in the freezer and then see when it gets so when it gets cold just to see what the consistency is of it or if we have to reduce it anymore yeah yeah like the crab apple butter yeah like the way we do all almost all all the jams I make is uh, done that way. might end up being more syrupy than jammy. Okay. And once I taste it, uh, we'll see if we need to add any more sugar. Chicho. What's an old school chef trick? What's an old school chef trick? What's an old school chef trick? Let's see. What's an old school chef trick? I gotta think back what my mom taught me. I, like the way I cook is just the way I cook. Uh, prep food. I don't know if it's old school, but there are a lot of tricks uh, that my mom taught me. What's what's one of them? What's one of them? Well, heating up the jars like this—that's a trick. You don't need the big pot and boil the water. Speed cooling for. Uh, consistency that's a trick put it in the freezer take it put it in the freezer but the jar thing this because I never I don't know anyone that does this and anyone that has shown that I jar like this they're like what we use the big pot and we do have big pot and you you know fill the jars and then close them almost close them and then put them well close them and then put them in a the boiling water and then uh, for like how many minutes and you bring them out when you're doing that, you can't make as many jars as I do this rapidly, right? It's not a automated system. Um, I'm just thinking some of the other things that we do. Uh, marinate your meat for uh, for a couple of days if you can, if you're gonna cook it. Um, if you're gonna do marinate, not don't marinate just for a day or just for a few hours. Sometimes it's okay, but usually you wanna keep meat in your marinade for at least overnight uh, what else what else a uh, old school trick yogurt is good for uh, when you're making shish kebabs to tenderize the meat so tenderizing uh, marinating meat especially if you're making kebabs uh, in yogurt is is good What else? What else? I don't know. Can't think of anything else. Um, one of the things I don't do when I cut onions, I don't, um, unless they're in a sealed bag or a sealed uh, container, I don't leave them in the fridge because onion, cut onion takes in toxins from what I understand right dry heat is risky for glass uh, but extremely effective yeah extremely effective one of the things is uh, the trick is to uh, get the temperature of, because it's the difference in temperature which cracks the jars and we're gonna get cracked jars no matter what we do right it's just the risk we take right so 
you want to get the temperature of the liquid and the jar to be about the same because it's the temperature difference that cracks the jar and when i start pouring into the jars i pour a little bit at a time first um when we do this because you want the jar to climatize right another thing i do i'm going to close off all the doors and windows and stuff so we don't get any breezes right so we don't get any breezes i'm going to give these ones another Now what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to consolidate these two. Pots, because we need one of these pots. I have more pots, but I'd rather just consolidate them. Uh, we need one of these pots for the, for the milling process, right? Let's see what the jam is like. So it's still very liquidy, right? It's still very liquidy. Oh wow, it tastes fantastic. Not very sweet at all. You know what? I'm going to add a little bit more sugar. Just a little bit, not much. quarter of a cup in this one and I'm gonna add a quarter of a cup in this one as well okay that's enough So before we transfer them, we're going to make sure the sugar is uh, dissolved in it. Onions soak up flavor like a sponge to water, especially when moist. Especially when moist, really? Yeah, onions are essential in the kitchen. Essential in the kitchen. In cooking. We use up a lot of onions. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna transfer from the little guy to the big guy. This is gonna be messy. Be careful with this. Start, um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go from little guy to big guy. Black 
splat. Now I'm going to turn this guy off. Okay. I'm going to transfer it over here. I'm going to keep this on simmer. Give it a little whirl. Raid, raid, we got another raid. What's going on with the rays? Ooh, that's a serious raid just came in. Wow, wow, wow. Welcome everybody. Welcome to our live stream. Hello from France. Salutations. Salutations. Hi. So what do we got? Let's read off the names. Let's read off the names. First time chat. Miliana, welcome, welcome to our live stream. Mo Zinger, salute, salute. Nikuk, welcome, welcome, hello, hello. Steph Patch, hello, how are you doing? Paul Garf, hello from France, that one. Slovince, hello, first time chat. Chof, 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 fit, chofit, chofit. Hi, Duki eight, cuckoo. Is a ledu. Hello, hello. Dalia, Dalia, Clochet. Hey, hello, hello, hello. Ray, Ray, hello, God. <laughs> Wolf, Wolfie poke. Hello, how are you doing, Doctor Skill? What are you cooking? Blackberry jam. We're making blackberry jam. Blackberries that we ended up picking. Went on three different picks and pick a, picked a ton of blackberries. We've been eating a lot of it. Uh, made some blackberry liqueur, I'll show it to you. Uh, and uh, we're about to get into the jarring business. We actually, we're gonna mill it first. We're gonna mill it first. Eduardo, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Raid, raid. <laughs> Lots of raid. <laughs> Pogarf, hi. Jam with berries, jam with berries. Delicious, delicious. Wolfie, Nicole. Thank you for the follow. Bazingala. Bazingala. How long is this one going? Uh, we're still going to go. We still got at least a couple hours to do. Right? That jam, it takes a while to do, but uh, it's well worth it. Well worth it. Yummy blackberries. Okay. So I mix this as enough. So the bottom is good. I'm gonna put this at temperature of three. Okay, let it simmer a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna put this sideways. Just let it breathe a little bit so it doesn't foam over. Now I'm gonna wash this other pot here because I need to give it a wash. Um, before we put it here and start milling. Okay. So here, I can take this camera angle down. Is that the one? Oh, that's that one. That's this one. So I'm just gonna give this a little wash right now. we can mill it into this pot because my miller the sides of it are not big enough to sit on this one okay 
So take a look. I need to do it on the little guy, on the orange guy. So this guy, it needs to sit on the pot. Here, I'll show it to you. Watch this. See this? These guys hook onto the pot, but this is this is too small. This pot is too big, right? So what we're gonna do, this one's why, so we can just leave it here. We can leave it here, right? Let's leave it there. I'm gonna have to bring in the orange guy. We're gonna mill it in this, okay? Because in this, sits on it nicely, right? Totally forgot about that. It's been like a year since we did any jarring, right? Hello from Greece. Greece, how are you doing? And France, by the way. My background is Armenian. Lots of Armenians in Greece and France. Barev, Genats, and salutations to first time chat and thank you for the raids, gang. Okay. Jedi Unicorn. I can eat 10 hot dogs and three minutes for 25k. <laughs> 10 hot dogs. Okay, check this out, gang. So, I'm gonna put this over here. We don't need this. Oop. Apologies about the noise. But we're gonna start doing a little bit of milling. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Look at that gurgling. We are gonna transfer the mill. Thank you very much for the follow Jedi Unicorn. We are gonna transfer, we're gonna mill it in this, and then we're gonna transfer uh, the jam, the milled product, really, into the bigger jar. So we do need that bigger jar as well. Okay, we don't need this. Let's put this guy here. Now, we can start heating up the jars. I'm gonna heat up the jar slowly in the oven. Now the sound is gonna kick up guy again because we're turning on the oven, right? I'm gonna heat it up to 325 right now. Cool, okay. Now, What's the best way to show you guys how we're gonna do this? Here. I might reduce this even more. Let's check it out. Watch this. Usually you want a little bit of foam on top of this. Capture it. Actually, let's hold off on the mini a little bit longer. Okay, just a little bit longer. Let's put the lid back on this guy. This is going to heat up fast. Oh, Elder God with the stream description. Uh, been an amazing blackberry season, so we were able to harvest a nice supply. Let's take it to the next step and make some blackberry jam and possibly some liqueur. And here's the liqueur. Let me make sure this isn't going to boil over. Here's the liqueurs that we made today, right? This is blackberry. The sugar in the bottom of this. I'm gonna put this in the windowsill and let it uh, dissolve the sugar, and it will slowly, right? Blackberry. Here's what it looks like. This is blackberry liqueur, 
that what did we do five pounds blackberries 2019 so this is blackberry liqueur made in 2019 okay i put one and a half cups of sugar in this i put one cup of sugar in the other guy okay yeah i have a little taste of this This is uh, probably done like two iterations on this, right? This is at least the second iteration of adding more vodka and a little bit more sugar. Smells amazing. Tastes phenomenal, right? Phenomenal. Cheers, gang. Salud. And genat. So good, so good. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. We made some grape liqueur. We made some grape liqueur. Right. This is, and all of these are that the grapes we pick from our patio, so our own grapes. And this is grapes that we made from 2020, right? Same grapes, same style of grapes from our patio, right? A super fantastic, 10 out of 10 I gave it. Same with the blackberry, 10 out of 10. Super delicious. Eduardo, what is your oldest? My oldest liqueur is a liqueur that my grandfather made. It's like 40 plus years old now, 45 years. It's more like paste. oldest liqueur I've made is probably 15 years um, probably 15 right and this is plum liqueur plum that I ended up picking when we were picking blackberries saw a plum tree went crazy on it right? super delicious and this is our plum liqueur this is like an old plum liqueur this one's probably eight nine ten years old okay and this different type of plum red plums okay and we ate one of these earlier in the stream it's delicious now plum liqueur is amazing too it tastes super good super good super good cheers again <laughs> very yummy very yummy Getting ready for the milk. We're getting the foam build up here a little bit. That's what we're looking for. Okay. T eight three three R. Oh, where to go? Oh, you guys. Your facial hair is majestic, thanks. <laughs> there was a sub or a follow, so whoever that was, thank you. Oh my god, quick on the sword, nice. Uh, Eduardo, do you know uh, Tamaran? Yeah, 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 for sure. I love Tamaran juice. Uh, 
is so acidic. I wonder if it would make good liqueur. Possibly. We have some tamarind here. Tamarind, please. Tamarind. 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 We got some tamarind paste, right? We, uh, we used to, I used to eat a lot of this when I was a kid. And you can get the fruit as well. It's like beans and stuff. So I eat that. Very acidic, right? Meeting. Um, I've had this for a while. Uh, very tangy, very tangy. Um, but I haven't made liqueur with it. Product of Thailand, by the way. Product of Thailand. just gonna transfer it here okay I'm gonna turn down the temperature I should probably need to turn down the temperature because once we lift up the lid it won't curcle as much what this looks like actually let me grab a spoon and add a little bit of spillage take a look there let's move this take a look Just twist it, and the juice sort of goes down. See that? scraping part because the meat of the blackberries needs to be in the jam as well you don't want just the just the water just the liquid right you want the meat of it as well what you're trying to do is just capture the seeds okay i'm actually keeping my glasses on for throughout the whole thing now right wow i usually take my glasses off but gives a little protection too with the splatter. And then you want to free up some of the seed, go the other direction, freeze up some of the seed and then go over it again. Just bring a bowl out, 
and I'm gonna dump all the meat into this bowl. There you go. Just pick up the meat with a, with a spoon. And just get rid of it. But make sure you don't get any of the seed into the jam, into the bowl, because you don't want I mean, I've made jam, blackberry jam, with the seeds. It's fine. It's not a big deal. But if you're gonna, if you're making blackberry jam without the seeds, then uh, you don't wanna, you don't want the seed in there. Might as well keep it out. All right. Let's move this guy over here. This guy over here. Let's put this guy over here, just in case we need it. Bring it over. Oh yeah, let me show you what it looks like here, by the way. Here, I'll show you. All right, check it out. Right. Very nice. That's the taste of it. Put more. So this is again. It takes time to do this, right? Well worth it, though. This will provide enough jam for one year at least, if not more. If you had a huge miller, that'd be amazing. Just plug it in, press a button, dump it in there, press a button, and you get jam at the end. And with this pulp, I'll show you what it looks like. Like we don't, we don't really let anything go to waste, right? With this pulp, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it in a jar and pour water on it and you get blackberry juice. Super delicious, super delicious. Ah, Mutaba Sanchez. Hello, Chicho. Good to see you after some time. Because of the time difference, I couldn't catch you, your stream, for a while here in Iran. Ah, Salam alaikum. Who was doing? I hope you're doing well. Yeah, you guys are 12. Iran is literally on the other side of the world from me, right? 12 hour difference. Right? Welcome, brother. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Let me just put that there. Keep the thing on there. Let's see if it stays.
Hmm? There it goes. Dur bar shalom. Dorot baram. Dorot baram shalom. Bar shalom. Salam. Shalom. We've reached 350, uh, 325 degrees. I'm gonna kick it down to 300. Actually, I'm gonna kick it down to 275. Kick it up to 325 and then bring it down because it's, we're still a little bit away uh, from actually jarring it. Becomes very meditative. We'll put the, the scooper on the side because it's getting hot in there. Right. And gang, do not forget, do not forget. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified. For trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to the United For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on censored.
のりの実Seeds going in there. We'll probably get one or two seeds in there. It's the name of the game, right? Nice emotes. Free of song. Truth, truth, truth. Right. TV, how are you doing? Hi Chicho, how are you? How are you, kind sir? Doing well, thank you. Making blackberry jam. for this so I gotta grab this guy let me get the juices out of that let's put this guy here put that guy I don't want to get any jam any seeds on this okay take a look All right oh we're not gonna use that guy that's for sure I just want to show it to you guys All right So I'm going to transfer this to the other pot, the bigger pot, right? Oh my God, that looks so good. Yeah, baby night, hello Chicho. I have no idea what that device does, but I'm loving your cooking, uh, cooking stream. It gets the seeds to pulp out, right? It's blackberry seeds, right? It's a mill, so it, it's a sieve at the bottom, so it keeps the seeds above and lets the juice and the meat go through, right? The leftover make uh, blackberry juice out of it. 
So put this in a jar, put water on top, and shake it up. You get blackberry juice, and you can do four or five iterations of it, right? So keep it in the fridge uh, for about three weeks, and we and we drink blackberry juice. I'm just gonna put a lid on this so it stays warm. Just gotta make sure the lid doesn't have any heat. Yeah, that's good. Because we're gonna to have to heat it up again, right? And let's do more. takes all the liquid and the meat like the the skin of the blackberries and stuff right it just takes the seeds out and of course there's a little bit of meat left on it as well
a beautiful color to it. Eh? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to reduce this to 250. Let it maintain the heat, the jars that are in the oven. Time chat level 99 seizing the means of production in a most delicious way haha <laughs> indeed indeed and welcome to our live stream salute I've been following your work for years. I'm just a chronic lurker. Awesome. <laughs> Lurking is a good thing. It's not bad. And salute to all the lurkers. And to all the ones, all the people that participate, right? And to the mods. these to do maybe three yeah, afterwards the kitchen is gonna need a nice cleaning lots of splatter everywhere
Look for the arms. Hmm? The harder part is actually holding this thing still. The rotating is not that bad. Turn this off too, so the bottom doesn't get burnt. Blackberries, indeed. Nox. Oh my God! I was born a Chicho YouTube lurker, <laughs> but when Chicho moved to Twitch, I knew my heart was a contributor. Awesome, awesome! Oh my God, and we appreciate it. Oh my God, we appreciate it a lot, brother. What's up? That's Via. Okay, let's dump that there. But before I start milling this, watch this. Hi, you guys. How are you doing? Are you doing good? Yeah? That's Sal right there. Oh, you can't see him. Here, watch this. Sal's joined us. Oh, that's that one. Oh, yeah, that's that one. That's the one we want. <laughs> They're south, and the view is down here. But watch this. See this? Oh, you can't see that. <laughs> see this? That's the meat of the jam, right? That's like uh, fruit roll-ups. Watch this. Oh, you can't see that. I'm gonna turn on the camera. Watch this. kicker is you need to do this almost right away otherwise it gets stuck on there right? and the only way to get it off is with water take a look you know, I'm going to transfer some of that there some of that goodness I won't do all of it because we've got business to do.
Mm. Sal's waiting for food. Who made jam and liqueur. Okay, I'm gonna put water in this because... Otherwise it becomes impossible to clean up or very difficult. Level nine, same here. First found chicho. First found chicho on YouTube. Started watching the math videos for no other reason than he was good at explaining them. Now here we are making blackberry jam. Here, let's put this on so you guys can watch Salio. Just chill. He's very patient. He wait for me to do my thing uh, for a long time before he goes meow. Give me some food. Let's see if he's got food there or not. He's got a little bit, but he wants more. jarring business I think after we feed sell this guy here. We need to get the gook from here. Take a look. Oh, you can't see that. Watch this. Ooh. Okay, now this. Let's put this here. Makes the job a little easier. Just let it soak. Now we're going to transfer it to the big pot. Mm. 
So, what's going on? We need some food, eh? Look, let's give you some food. Okay, now I'm gonna be. How many kilos of bear? I don't know. I didn't measure. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. My pleasure. My pleasure. Right. Mister Hezekiah, how are you doing? So this guy. What's gonna be easier for me? Jarring it from this side, or? Drawing it from here. This might seem a little easier. Okay. So let's we're gonna turn on the heat on this. Very little. Very little. I'm putting it at two. Right? I don't want the bottom to burn. Where is the lid for this? I'm gonna put the lid on it. The lid is like gonna hit the is it gonna hit it? Let's see. Did it hit it? No, it did too. Oh, it's just barely. Okay, let's just gonna let it eat. Do you need food? Yeah? I can pet you right now because I'm gonna wash my hands. Yeah? Yeah? You wanna come and say hi? Okay. So! <laughs> He loves liver. Take a little liver, sprinkle it on his wet food. Delicacy. Come on. I'm just gonna go to the washroom, wash my hands, and come back, okay?
Now, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to bring this over here. Mr. Hezekiah, I'm good. How are you? Also, I read that you should pick crab apples after the weather gets cold. Is there any truth to that? Uh, or internet? I think so too. Certain things you're supposed to pick after they get cold. For example, um, um, autumn olives, right? Autumn olives get sweeter after they, they get cold. Uh, we do have crab apple trees. I found one on our last outing. Uh, but um, they weren't ripe yet, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit. I'm making black uh, blackberry jam. Blackberry jam. Take a look. We're gonna just start jarring it right now. Okay. Let me turn on this guy. This is our lids. Okay. They've been sitting in hot water. This is what I'm gonna do. Use to pick them up so I'm just gonna put it in the hot water and let it simmer uh, sit in hot water sterilize I'm gonna pour a little bit more hot water in there because it's there I'm gonna turn the tea off because we're done with the tea for now okay uh, Randall can't get more nutritious than liver yeah can't get more amazing Sal loves it we love it Liver is the meat of champions, <laughs> indeed, Mr. Hezekiah. Yeah, yeah, it made Eldegard said that one. Uh, Mr. Hezekiah, yeah, it said it made them sweeter and softer. Yeah, sweeter and softer. I don't know about softer, but sweeter, right? More ripe, I guess. Now we're gonna have to set up a system here where we can jar this stuff. Okay, let's take our blackberry meat and put it over here. Okay. Let's cover this up. Now, before we start this, I'm going to have a little bit of watermelon. Amazing watermelon this season. Now, I'm going to close the back door because I don't want any breeze to come and crack the jars, okay? We might have to open it again for the Kit Kats. Mm. We, need, we, need, we need this, maybe. Or I wonder if we could use that. How tall is that? Is that going to fit in here, between here? Mm. Let's see. You know what, we could do this. Put this on top. And then you can see it better. I'm going to pour a little water in here. Because it's sitting on heat a little bit. I'm gonna heat this up a little bit more. Oh, hold on. I need to wash this because it's got seeds on it. Okay, so, and I need to get rid of this. We can put this here. Let's put that guy here. Let's wash this. Succulent, your succulents. You said you put them all in uh, potting soil, or do you use a combination? 
An apologies for the 10,000 question. Uh, just potting soil. Um, um, chup, chup, chup. It could it, it could vary depending on what, what I could get my hands on. So I don't want to say just potting soil. Sometimes it's uh, some of them may have other things in there. Some some uh, I know the cactus. I put some um, like a really old cactus I have that's like 45 years old. Uh, I put it in like sandy soil and rocks. And it's like crazy old. It's over there, but I can't. It's too heavy with rocks and stuff for me to show it to you. Okay. Uh, but potting soil, potting soil should do. But you could uh, get a little bit of uh, more sandy stuff in there. It is steaming a little bit. But I do want it to steam a little bit more. I want it to crackle a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to kick it up a little bit, the temperature. Get rid of some of this other stuff that we don't need. This guy we're gonna need, and this guy we can just lick. Like it's. Let me see. No, it's. It's, it's gonna be too heavy for me to pick up. Okay. Nice, Al. What's this good? If you want it, give me out, okay? Oh, I was going to put some water in this. So the pot doesn't burn. Okay. Um, we're going to do some small jars first. Okay. Uh, and get a feel for it. see where it takes us we've got a lot of jars to do and we pull out the jars with this Boink. I'm gonna lay these out because I'm gonna cover them as soon as we put them here I just want to see one bubble in this one bubble go bloop Oh, Mike Potato 32, thank you very much for the follow. Oh, we've had. Oh, yeah, the lid on this is a little bit. When it heats up, it uh, expands a little bit, right? Let's put this guy here. Yeah. 
Easier to clean when it's wet. slow mo okay it's not hot enough I'm gonna close it let's see This one will probably not seal, okay? Because it didn't sizzle and and I waited too long to put the lid on it. Okay, so I'm gonna kick up the temperature in the oven to 350 again. created a mess on the cutting board so we're going to clean this up and we're going to put a plate under here okay we're going to take this guy and put it in the corner over there gonna hit 325 pretty fast. Let's just get this one. And we're gonna put a plate here. This thing steaming, which is good. Good, good. Let's put a plate on here. There. Good stuff. Try one more. Let's wait.
Not yet. No sizzle yet. So this one might not seal either. A little bit of curcolin. But we need more of it. I should have had this guy ready. First time child. Once he puts it in the jar, it's not it's not hey. It's not hey. It's gotta sizzle a little bit. This is taking forever to kick up to 350. Jar protocol in action. Be careful moving it when you're moving it. It gets hot. The, the lid, this thing is cold, but the jar is hot. So if you're going to move it by hand, you got to do it Speed Gonzalez. Otherwise, you're moving it with these guys, right? Looks like barbecue sauce. Yeah, to a certain degree, I guess. Sizzle, wanted to sizzle. No, the hee hee is a light laugh. <laughs> okay, it's not hee hee, <laughs> it's ha 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 ha. <laughs> See, that's 420. Are you gonna have a chicho jam giveaway extravaganza? I almost won a jar once. Oh my god, it was so <laughs> Yeah, we'll give uh, the little guys, we'll give. And by the way, gang, in the next auction, uh. I can only ship to Canada, United States, and only by land to Europe. Uh, I ship some stuff to uh, Brazil and a couple other places, even one to Europe, and they never got there, and they cost an insane amount of money to ship. I think the Brazil one, like by land it was like 75 dollars it was like insane right so i'll i'll clarify um uh, once we get closer to the island. so my apologies the shipping was just through the roof through the roof mr hezekiah here's a cool story i have a ground hive of bees ground hive of bees in my backyard uh, but they aren't aggressive so i'm letting them ride nice are you, are you sure they're bees or wasps? If they're bees, awesome. Go there and steal their honey. <laughs> we got this guy, we got this guy, good. Let's see if we get a sizzle. Positive there is awesome. Wait, payment and no delivery. And no delivery. I didn't I didn't for delivery that was just regular ground. No tracking, uh no whatever. The tracking and stuff to Brazil was into the hundreds. It was crazy. It was insane. All the guys says I will pay with my shipping. Yeah, I guess I we could say if anybody wants uh wants the shipping to go to 
places that are like insanely expensive if they're willing to pay for shipping uh, so popping on those or not hopefully we will oh, let me do it. actually we can do a mix on that let's do a mid-range one let's do a 250 sizzle two fifty and a big lid. You don't want to go too tight on this. You just want to just make sure it's sitting nicely. Oh, we had a pop. We had a pop on a little guy. Nice. How much do you plan on making? Uh, looks like you're going to make uh, five. I don't know. We're going to make the whole thing. I'm not sure how much it's uh, weighing. That's a sizzle. Kick it down to 325. Okay. You 
gotta go slow. Uh, otherwise, the jars will crack. Okay. Why do they need to be under a towel? Because if a breeze hits, like I have all the windows closed, but if a breeze comes, it'll hit the hot uh, glass, it'll crack the gr glass. That's why I have the door closed as well. So, will you be making some uh, tasty liqueur after? We made liqueur before. Sorry, gang, I'm just reading something, whatever is directed towards me, because this is definitely time sensitive.
beautiful color to it. I want to hear popping. I'm not hearing too much popping. Do a big one. 500 mil. This one we gotta be careful with.
gotta get rid of if I see lids that have little scratches on them at the bottom of them I don't use them so I saw a couple like for example take a look here I'll show it to you here see this I don't use these so gotta get rid of them so they don't interfere slow me down Come on. Yeah, this one too, see? Oops. There we go. There's some nice clean ones there. Some of these are new, some of them are used. Oh, here's another one. You can pretty much use these about two times, two or three times. Uh, that's a duds. Okay, we got a couple of big ones there. That's good. putting this on really low right now oh jeez missed the drawer <laughs> what a mess keep your eyes on the prize right What a mess, what a mess, what a mess, what a mess. I'm gonna, f I'm gonna replace this. Let's put this guy here. Let's do a replace. Get our tools sorted out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do something else. Oh yeah, I'm gonna replace this guy. This guy's done. Hundred thousand K auction points. Sorry gang if I'm not checking out the chat.
I'm gonna kick this down to 300. Nicholas, you're redeeming thousand points. These jars are more towards the back of the oven, so the back of the oven is hotter. I just heard another one pop. <laughs> no, they're not all cannabis jars. Herbs, herbs. We got lots of herbs to cook with. <laughs> I'm serious, the guy says I believe so. <laughs> awesome. No. 
spillage on the rims on this one. That's good. Sure, of course there's a guy. I have Ronnie, I have made home pizza. Yeah. But my mom was the expert on that. Thank you very much for the follow, big brat. Homemade pizza is the best. Like, amazing. It cracked. No. The jar cracked. Let me show it to you. Let's see if you can see it. See it? Right there? Mm, on the other side. Ooh. See it right there? It cracked. So when I'm pouring the jam in, I try to listen to see if you get a sharp and it cracks, right? So you don't want to uh, have music playing when you're doing this or talking too much when you're doing this, right? It cracked two places, I heard it. Here was another one. I don't know if you can see it, let's see. There's one right there too, right? There's one there. And then there is one there somewhere. I can see it from this side, but hard for you guys to see it. Okay. So I'm going to put this aside because this one's done. And we're going to bring another one. And if it's going to crack, it's going to crack at the beginning. So you got to pour really slow. Okay. I might have poured a little bit too fast on that one. I might let this one cool a little bit before we uh, pour it. Lonely Biggie homemade pizza is a good family activity. Oh, it's an amazing family activity. Oh, we heard another one pop. So good. Oh, crack right at the bottom I can see it oh, 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 oh. look at this Let's show it to you. these are the ones at the back of the can you see it see it back of the stove so they're crazy hot crazy hot let's put that there i'm gonna grab some from the front of the stove <laughs> okay i've already lowered it to 300 but it's at the back of the stove right that's the problem oh no another one gone another one nights dust another one bites the dust another comrade is dead eight pints of strawberries nice i'm gonna grab from the front of the Let's do, let's do a little guy. I'm going to turn the oven off. And when you're pouring into a jar, if it cracks, do not eat the jam in it. Okay, no matter how much how much you've poured, it's done. Okay. 
last thing you want is eating glass okay last thing you want is eating glass hello chat how are you doing first time chat salute i have no idea what you're saying in russian but salute let's see what else we're gonna grab let's do a fancy one we've used this jar a few times so hopefully it'll hold out we're gonna let it cool a little, little bit okay i'm gonna let it cool i'm gonna clean up the some of the lids on here if they're disturbed this one's okay we got two little guys here that's good Good. And this is at a top, at a higher level in the stove, so it's not as hot. Good, good. Oh, I just heard another one pop. So they are sealing, which is good. These are older jars, so take a look. See it? Right there. We're losing a few. We're losing a few jars. Okay, let's do a big one. What it is too, the temperature of the liquid, because I turned it down, uh, the discrepancy between the jars is a lot more. Uh, so, because I don't, I needed to turn it down because we're getting down to the bottom. I don't want the bottom to uh, to stick, right, or to burn. Let's try this.
We can do a little bit. Let's do a little guy. Sorry about the noise, gang. I hope that wasn't too loud. Cheryl Chicho, have you ever used the uh, WEC jars? Or anyone else? I don't know WEC jars. slow on this this is sizzling like mad this is going to be our last jar game that's it let's give it a wipe Give it a wipe and throw this on and seal it up. Nice. Awesome. That's it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wipe this um, or scrape this off so it doesn't burn because it is still hot. Put it in a plate. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm going to transfer this guy over. And then I'm going to have some cleaning up to do today. Take a look, right? So let's scrape this stuff off so it doesn't dry, so we can get these goodies off. So this is going to be jam we're going to eat in the next couple of days. any hmm. look at that let's see if we got a little scrapler. yeah it's gonna be hard taking this off Ooh. oh we got more gloves dirty when you make jam everything needs to be washed anyway you get splatters see can turn this guy off too and that's it <laughs> okay this needs to be washed as well let me give it a little rinse so everything becomes easier to manage That was fun. First time chat. Senor Hezikaya. Senor, sweet, sweet jam. Sweet, sweet jam. Take a look. You're going to be eating this. Let me scrape this off too. Now I can open the door. Maybe the kitty cats want in because. And this tastes fantastic. Oh, I shouldn't put that away. Come here, you. Very good. Oh, 
Oh, look at this. If I didn't have a goatee, I'd be uh, licking this. So that's done. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Hmm. Oh, we can lick this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. By the way, that's some professional licking, right? Many people with a beard would not be able to do this. They get it all over themselves. <laughs> awesome. Fun. This with sour cream. Oh my God. Right? Wow, wow, wow. Looks <laughs> so good. Actually, I have a jar of sour cream or a little container. Let's see. Basically, we turned <laughs> Cheryl, even people without a beer would we turn this into this, right? We turned blackberries, right? Look at that. We turned blackberries. Delicious, delicious blackberries. Right. So good into blackberry jam. Right. A lot of love. A lot of hard work. A lot of sweat, no tears. Here's a little bit of sour cream. Oh, I got some of the paste here. Here's some of the paste we scraped off the other. Not bad. The jam is better. <laughs> Let me put this here. Hi right, Sal, you're back. Good boy. A little bit of sour cream. And take a little bit of that. course you would do with bread but with this <laughs> it's pretty good <laughs> mm -hmm. very good mm. very very good very good. <laughs> Alicots, no dairy. <laughs> uh, Elder God, blackberry jam with meats would be amazing too. A perfect stream to end the per No, <laughs> I'm, I'm growing my own 
peanuts next year peanuts wow talk about the deep state th no no deep state today talk the deep state can kiss my ass <laughs> Those nasty people. Hi, Sal. How's it going? You doing good? Yeah. Let me take off my new part so I can pick you up. This is Salio. This is a good kitty cat. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Always wash the hands after playing with the kitty cats. I'm gonna take down these guys. These cameras. There's Sal. Watching us do. You got some cleanup to do. Blackberry and pork. Oh, elder god. Yes, please. First time Chad, Sweden official. Wow. SpongeBob rocks. Or the first couple of seasons and the first movie did anyway jam and mustard would be good jam and mustard <laughs> i don't know maybe but blackberry and pork would be amazing my god yo sal dude see that <laughs> atomic potato oh who's this cute dude he's, he's sal and then via's around via's his brother we call him salvia I like Sal, uh, Senor, uh, Senor H Hezekiah says, sure does. And most white meat, actually, yeah, white meat. Turkey would go phenomenal as well, phenomenal as well. Sal Roseberg, Senor Hezekiah, Chicho, do you have your own fruit trees? Um, grapes. We we harvest our own grapes. We got some berries herbs um, zucchini tomatoes he's a sweet boy Cheryl he's a super sweet boy and gang do not forget do not forget free Assange free Assange free Assange Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity something that we desperately need in our societies for more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless, countless resources available online for you to find out what this is all about. Okay. Oh, the name combo. Love it. Do you, Atomic Potato? It was just a coincidence, I tell you. <laughs> If there were triplets, we were going to call the other one Divinorum. <laughs> on a hot ham. Oh my god, jam and mustard. Cheryl, jam and mustard on a hot ham sandwich. Oh. Oh. Sal looks a bit wide. <laughs> the, no, he's slim, man. Via's, Via's pretty wide. Well, not wide, but. But Sal is lickety split, lickety split. He eats a lot though. Crazy. He eats more than uh, Via does. But he's just, uh, that's just the way he's made, right? I should do grapes on my fence. Yeah, yeah. Check out our previous videos. I put out a video if you go to either. Uh, oh, where are we? If you go to. Uh, Bitchute Rumble or Odyssey, you can go to Sensor Tube as well. Um, two videos ago or something, or next video. No, I think I, uh, we've done grape harvesting videos, but I think in either today or tomorrow, I'm going to upload a, a grape harvesting video that we did uh, previously on a live stream. 
you'll see how the grapes are set up. So abundant, so like so much. We've got so many grapes. This is just this is just two bags out of four that we got in the fridge. We have in the freezer. We just made some grape uh, liqueur. We've made grape sauce. Sal, so patient. Oh, another one just cracked. We made some grape uh, sauce, like, uh, uh, here, let me show you. like it's a concentrate, some grape concentrate. Take a look. Like super tangy. Like these are green grapes, by the way, right? So this is what the grapes look like. Well, you saw the gr green grapes. Here's grape liqueur that we made just today at the beginning of the stream uh, before we did the blackberry jam cooking, right? This is the grapes from last year that we made liqueur, right? 2020, 10 out of 10, fantastic, super delicious. Okay. And this is super tangy, it's like concentrate. So so good. You'll you won't find anything like this in a store, right? Not too much sugar. It's the sweetness and the tanginess of the grapes. And then you want to make grape juice. You just pour this on, right? Less tangy. Super delicious. Right? And we have another big jar, double the size of that in the fridge. Right. Great vibes. Uh, it's cool. It's cool. No, I we have family has in the past made our own wine, but I haven't. Uh, my father used to. Didn't taste very good, but I don't think he was following a series. This was decades ago, right? Not too many recipes available back then. The color is amazing. The taste is amazing. Cheryl, I blame sea death for the jam and mustard idea. It just brought to mind a sandwich a family friend used to make when we visited. Apricot jam, oh, uh, apricot jam, stone ground mustard, pan browned chipped ham, Swiss, I'm assuming Swiss cheese, all grilled on sourdough. <laughs> Yummy city, total title, a uh, uh, total uh, little. Uh, Cheryl flashback. Oh man, that sounds fantastic. Thanks for that seed that Cheryl says. That sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. I don't know what uh, know what I'm doing wrong with my wine, but uh, they always have a weird aftertaste. Oh, there's um there's a person that comes here, uh, Nagushka or who is it that makes wine, and they gave us a little hint. Uh, regarding the alcohol concentrate uh, percent and stuff like that uh, i don't think they're around today but uh, you can come to our discord here's our discord channel and um, you can pose a question anybody need uh, have any ideas about wine uh, oh your liqueur with my liqueurs not oh with your liqueurs really um i don't know is I'm, i just add fruit and sugar that's it. Uh, I use organic cane sugar. Uh, I don't use processed white sugar. So the processed white sugar might be it if you're using processed white sugar. I use organic cane sugar and no aftertaste. No aftertaste. Sorry, gilded. I mean gilded. Gilded, gilded. No, this, did I say that? Oh, did I say the bad D word? Damn. Gilded. Come to our gilded server. That's where... Uh, there's a lot of people sharing information and, and whatnot. But regarding uh, the liqueurs, uh, organic cane sugar. I have some organic sugar. I'll try it. Yeah, try it out. Try it out. Okay. 
um, other a couple other people mentioned this as well or one other person I remember someone saying that uh, but I don't get any after weird aftertaste at all at all if anything it just gets better and better as it ages right um, but I haven't had processed sugar other than going to pastry stores and buying pastry uh, for a long 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 time long time processed white sugar anyway gang let's call the stream thank you very much for being here um, we're about four hours long over four hour which is what what our estimate was as well right so fantastic stream uh, thank you for being here if you want to know what this work is about let's check it out I'm on patreon I'm on Sun Substack and I'm on subscribe star for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon on other platforms as well as twitch gang thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do what it is that we are doing and I thank you very much I hope you enjoy this content enjoy the rest of your day everybody indeed indeed gang we do announce these live streams 30 minutes 45 minutes before we go live on getter minds vk gap parlor and bitcloud and we'll see what other platforms will go on uh in the future and for live streams where we don't have any visuals and i'm not moving around as much we do upload the audio to soundcloud as a podcast and those podcasts should be available in your favorite podcasting platform including spotify itunes and google play and again the platforms you can follow us on for everything bitshoot rumble and odyssey uh censored information uh censor tube youtube doesn't allow us to load everything so you're not going to be getting all the content that we create um it's all uh sort of limited so if you want to follow all of our work you want to be on bitshoot rumble or odyssey aside from that gang and mods 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 thank you for being here and taking care of business and having our backs on twitch on these live streams as well as gilded uh, aside from that gang i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic tuesday uh, or wednesday if you're into it now and um, probably do a live stream on the weekend but i'll let you guys know we'll talk on uh, gilded see what we're up to okay have a lovely day everyone Bye for now.